sending an expiry email from Power BI desktop or Power BI service is no more difficult. You can just do it anytime with just click of a button. Hi, I'm Ahmad Adnan and welcome to my channel Tech18. Here we can discuss about the Power BI, Power Apps or Automate as well as Excel and SQL and a lot more to come. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, just hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. In April 2021, Microsoft has released a new update in Power BI Desktop. In this, we can add the Power Automate which was inside to Power BI Desktop. So from there, you can able to send to any kind of email alert, whatever you want to do it in Power Automate, you can do everything inside to the Power BI file itself. That's a cool thing, right? So now, if you can see the data here, let me zoom a bit. So it's just a password expiry table. So this is the name, that's an example scenario, and the type of the document, and the expiration date, and the email ID. For the testing purpose, I just added three of them, the same email ID, just to make sure if the email comes to my email ID or not. So going back to this one, so you can just add the visual. Right now it is in preview, so you can download it from the app source, the Power Automate. In order to do that, you just need to click here, the three dot icon, and then go to get more visuals but you have to sign into your Power BI account in order to get it from the app source. Once you do so, and then you can able to download the file as usual, like this, get the file from the stores. It will open up this one from the app source. You can just search for Power Automate. So you can see it, this one, Power Automate, you can click on add. It will add to your Power BI desktop file. Once it is done, let me add a new one. And let me zoom a bit. It's just Power Automate, create a button that triggers automated tasks without leaving Power BI. So the first thing is you need to add the data, drag the fields need for your flow, automated tasks into the field well, that is here, Power Automate data, and then set up your flow, select edit in the more options menu in the visuals and follow the instructions to create a flow. Here, if you can click here on the three dot, and then you can click on edit. Apply and share. Select the apply to connect to the flow to your button. Make sure you share the flow with the report readers who need access to it. So this is an important thing. There are actually two things you need to make sure. One is you need to share this flow to them. And another is you need to have a Power Automate license for that. That's a separate thing. And Power BI license is also a separate thing. And the next thing is you can format your buttons. So resize and format your Power Automate buttons as you can. So going back again, we just need to drag and drop the field here. So as in this example, I have added all the columns, whatever it is required for me. So like name, email ID, type and expiry date, everything I have added here. And then just clicking on this one and click on edit. Once I do so, it will open up the Power Automate, the exactly interface which is available on the web, it will be available inside your Power BI desktop. This is a cool feature. So you want to create a new thing, right? So it will give us a template here, the available template. You want to connect to Power BI to Excel, Power BI to Team, Power BI to SharePoint, Power BI to Task. If not, you can create your own. Just click on the new here on the top left and then click on cloud instant flow flow so if you want to start from the template you can click on the template here first time when you're going to use this option it will ask you for your sign up so you need to sign in to your power automate desktop clicking on new one and click on instant cloud flow so as i said it's pop your button is clicked here no additional information is needed for this step you will be able to use the output in subsequent steps. So I'm going to add a new step here. It's basically we need to do a sending an email, right? So I'm just selecting on email option here. 
and send an email notification and I need to add the two address subject and body to that so clicking on here it will give as a pre-populated information which is from the power bi desktop to here basically I need the email ID right so if you can just mouse over here is power bi data name it's power bi data email it's power bi data type and it's power bi data expiry date all these things are comes from the columns which is available on that particular table whichever as a columns I have drag and drop here in the fields pane of this visual so basically the two is nothing but for me is power bi email id it is here when I clicked on this one it just creates one more like apply to each step so inside to it has added me these functions to send an email now basically this is the two address and the subject I want to add here either I can add the existing one like this document is going to expiry or I can add custom type here so I'm going to use your document which is the type it will add a passport maybe in future the driving license or something else can add here going to expire on date so I need the date column now is power bi expiry date I can copy the same everything here and paste it on the body here so that's also will look the same so here we can customize a bit hey I want to add the username right so here I need to add the name hey this one your document is going to expire on this one thanks and regards like 18 so that's it so once it is done you need to give name of your flow so it is for vi desktop email 2 and i'm clicking on save here so that it will save this flow here so and then you need to go back here and click on apply so you have successfully applied the power bi desktop 2 to your button and then you can click on back to report if you want to make sure you just need to click on this one and then edit so right now you have two flows here this is the one i'm just clicking on this one and then apply so it just says again it is applied so back to report now as this is the button so i need to click on control and xy in power bi desktop i'm just i'm just doing it now control and then click so it is triggering right now the emails it's going one by one to the row by row and then sending an email to my email address or whatever it is so it is triggered so now let's have a look at my email address if you can see there are three documents i have received so far your document passport is going to expire on this date and this date and this date if i open this mail hi Adnan, your document passport is going to expire on this one this one cool thing right if i open another one it says hi john your document passport is going to expire on this one this is cool awesome right and if you want to apply more filters you can also do that that will cover in future i mean in next video about that how we can able to customize more on this power automate visual thing so this is how you can able to send an email expiry notification kind of thing from the power bi using power automate if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.